Hi, Rich Spizzano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to change the scenery in a window. So I pulled this stock photo in from Unsplash, and I just asked for a room with a window, and this is one of the ones that I got. So some people like to work in the mountains, or work in the city, or live there if you have a house scene. So what I did was I chose this particular one. I'm going to duplicate that Control or Command J, and I'm going to bring that to the front. And I decided that we were going to put this city scene. And all I did was type in Unsplash city scene. And this is one of the ones that came up. So we're going to put that scene in the window. So let me bring this first one up. I'm going to duplicate it. I like to duplicate things just in case I make a mistake. So here's the first thing we need to do. So let's take this scene. And these are the easy windows because they're almost solid. So what I'll do with those windows is I'm just going to take the uh, flood selection tool and I'm going to just go like this and pick that and I'm going to do the add button and that and that and that and that. And I can do pretty much up to here because then there's different shades when you come to the other section. And what I'll do now is I'm going to create a mask. Click the mask button and it did the opposite. So let me deselect that and I'm going to take that mask and do control command I, which is invert. And the city scene is right behind it. Uh, so for now, I don't want to confuse us with the city scene because it's not in positioned in the right place. So what I'll do above the city is I'm going to do layer, new fill layer. And I, and this, I picked a lime green, which is perfect. So that'll help me with my windows. So when you have complicated, you can't use the flood selection for this kind of window. One way to do that, and I think is actually the best way to do any selection, is to use the pen tool. So I'm just going to click like this. Uh, if you get a close-up and you change this to the node tool, you can move these nodes to where you think they should be. And they're not right here, so let's move them. Whoops. We want to get them as close as we can to, to the edge of the windows. And then we go back to the pen tool and we hit selection. And now we make sure to select the mask and if you go to the fill tool and if you hit the D key it goes to black and white your colors and you want black so on the mask layer you just hit uh, the flood tool and you flood it with black and that adds to the mask so rather than me taking the time to go through all of these which will take a lot of time I already did this so you, you could see how I did it. Here I did the flood fill and here I did the pen tool. So let's just get rid of this one. I'm going to bring this one down here and then I'll bring this one up. And we bring it up again. So you can see I already take, took away all the things I needed to take away in the windows. So that you can do on your own time and you should be careful about it. Do it in detail if you can. But uh, I already did it to save you some time. So now I'm going to take this scene and I'm going to kind of uh, add a little perspective to it. We don't need that much because it really depends. If you look here, it really depends on the angle of your building and where you're viewing. So it's not that important, but it, I would like a little bit of perspective added to this. So let me just bring it out a little. And for now, I'm going to use a live perspective in case I want to change it. So I, I'm going here and I'm going to hit this perspective tool. And I'm just kind of going to bring it the way the window is. It's kind of like if you're looking at it on an angle like this. And I want it to just kind of follow. I don't want it to be perfect. I could follow the exact angle, but what I really don't want to, I tried it in a practice round and it didn't fit with the shape of the building. So I want it to be kind of on an angle. So I'm just going to do that and just be okay with that. And let's get a close up. And now I'm going to put that 
window on top of my fill layer so you can see out here. Now if you can also remember, go back if you think it's not on the right angle, which I think it's wrong right now, I'm looking at it. Thanks to uh, Live Perspective, you can double click it and bring this up higher. Like I want to do that and I think I want to bring this down a little bit lower. A good rule is if you want to follow this line of the windowsill, that kind of will help you too. So I'm going to leave it at that. And let's get close. Yeah, I think that's much better. So there you have the window scene. But one problem is it doesn't look real. It, I mean, it's not bad, but it's, you, can't, you can almost tell that I threw another scene into the window. So what I will do with that window scene, I'm going to rasterize it right now. The reason I'm rasterizing it is it makes my file size smaller and it's easier on the processor and the computer. So once you know the position, you can rasterize it. You're not going to move that around, so it's not a big problem. So it doesn't really look real. So here's what I'll do next. I'm going to take the room. I'm going to duplicate that. Control of Command J. And I can get rid of the mask because I don't need it for this room. And what I'm taking, and I have to make sure that it is a pixel layer, so I have to make sure that that's rasterized. And I'm going to take half of the room with a selection, maybe about that much, a little less than half the room. And I'm going to do Control or Command J on that. So now I'll deselect Control or Command D. And I will take that layer and I'll go arrange, uh, flip horizontally. And now I'm going to back out a little bit. I want to take this and put it in the window. Now it could be a little distorted. I could stretch it. I can also do a perspective. So I'll do it again. I could do a live perspective until I get it where I want it to be. So I'm going to kind of again follow the windowsill a little, but I'm going to stretch it a little so that it's, let's see how about like maybe there, I would like it to come out even more this way. I'm going to try that. Okay, so now that I got that, we can delete this underneath one because we had duplicated it without the mask. We don't need that. So now let's move this in front of the city scene, but behind the main window. And it's a little off. It doesn't look good the way it is. So I'm taking that again, and maybe I'm going to stretch it a little bit. I can even enlarge it some and even a little bit of rotation if I want. Something like that is good. And now I'm going to take that and go to Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation. I'm going to move up the luminosity a lot, like kind of like maybe there. And I like that. And now I'm going to change my mode from normal. I think I used pin mode, pin light last time. And I, I was debating between pin light and glow. Glow is pretty good also. Let's try glow for now. And I'm going to lower the opacity. And you can see there is that reflection. And you can adjust this. We still have uh, perspective open. So if you want to change the perspective of that, just double click. And you can move this perspective any way you want here. And decide what you want to do. And let's say OK on that. And let's look at it again. So now it looks more like a window. You can lower the opacity, like I said, a little bit more, or you want to bring up more, depending on how much light you want it in the room. But it definitely looks a lot more realistic uh, because without it, it's just showing you a city scene like that. Now, a night scene actually is not so bad because it looks a little reflective. But sometimes you might want a different scene, for example, 
uh, let's let's take away the night scene and I think I actually have a moon scene too uh, so let's give us the moon scene instead and there it is but it doesn't look real so if you turn this on it kind of gives more of an illusion that it's real and you can lower this whoops am I doing the wrong one no and you can lower the reflection like that and I think that looks much more real in the case of this moon or other kind of scenery that you might have because that looks a little fake to me, but that looks more like it's reflecting off the window. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a good day.